Also at this hour, rescue efforts continue in Papua New Guinea following a deadly landslide on Friday that is projected to have claimed the lives of over 2,000 people. Now, according to emergency responders, the landslide has deposited debris up to 8 metres deep across 200 square kilometres. Government authorities have informed the United Nations that over 2,000 people have died in its wake. To give you an estimate, close to 4,000 people are projected to be living in and near the impacted area. While the government and defense forces have deployed in extensive rescue efforts on ground, heavy equipment required for the rescue, such as ex excavators, are yet to reach the village. The remoteness and the uneven mountainous terrain are slowing rescue and aid efforts. There's also concerns from rescue operators that the use of heavy machinery may be prevented by the locals up until mourning and grieving obligations for the recovered are fulfilled. The landslide has also rendered a section of the Pogera Highway inaccessible, cutting off certain affected communities. This includes the Pogera Gold Mine, operated by Papua New Guinea, that is uh, Papua New Guinea, in a joint venture with China. Heart-wrenching videos from ground zero of this calamity have spread across social media sites. In a few of them, villagers and local media teams can be seen scaling rocks, with many digging with shovels, sticks and their bare hands to find survivors. <laughs> It is important to note here that there has been no official count on the deaths, though the United Nations Migration Agency on Sunday estimated more than 670 people had died. The agency based its death toll estimates on information provided by officials at Yambali village in the Inga province, more than double the initial number of possible fatalities reported by local media. A humanitarian convoy has started distributing bottled water, food, clothing, hygiene kits, kitchen utensils, tarpaulins, as well as personal protective equipment. Neighboring countries, Australia and French administrators from New Caledonia have also offered emergency assistance. For all the latest news, download the Wion app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.